Hello Grade 4, welcome to our class. Again, you need to prepare your health book, temporary notebook, and then your pen. Now, if you find some important details on my PowerPoint, you may write that one in your notebook or you may highlight that one from your health book. Okay, shall we start? The third stage of human growth and development is adolescence. Between the age 13 and 18, a person is at the stage of adolescence. It is considered the transitional stage from childhood to adulthood. Adolescence is normally associated with puberty. Puberty is the time when our body starts to change from that of a child to that of an adult. During puberty, your body will grow faster than at any other time in your life, except for when you were a baby. It helps to know about the changes that puberty causes before they happen. That way, you know what to expect. It's also important to remember that everybody goes through these changes, no matter where you live, whether you are a boy or a girl, whether you like vanilla or strawberry ice cream, you will experience them. No two people are exactly alike. But one thing everyone has in common is that we all go through puberty. When your body is ready to begin puberty, your pituitary gland releases special hormones. Hormones are chemicals in our body that control and regulate the activities of certain cells or organs. Depending on whether you are a boy or a girl, these hormones go to work on different parts of the body. However, not all adults can start to experience puberty at the same age. For girls, it may take place anywhere from the age of 8 to 13. For the boys, it is usually later anywhere from the age of 10 to 15. On the physical side, our body will generally grow taller. We will gain weight and our shape will change slightly too. These changes will not happen overnight. But over a span of a few years, in addition, the rate of growth and how much we grow are different from one person to another. Here are other physical changes that we will experiencing during puberty. For the boys, facial hair, hair under arms, grow taller, deep voice, wide shoulders, muscular body, hair in pubic area, and gain weight. While for the girls, breast grow, curvier body, grow taller, menstrual cycles, hair under arms, wide hips, hair in pubic area, and gain weight. Next, some physical changes are common regardless of the gender. Other changes depend on whether you are a boy or a girl. Boy, testes start to produce sperms and hormones. Shoulders grow wider, body becomes muscular, voice becomes deeper, and then the last one, facial hair starts to grow. Additional information. For boys, the hormones travel through the blood and tell the testes, the two egg-shaped glands in the scrotum, to begin making testosterone and sperm. Testosterone is the hormone that causes most of the changes in a boy's body during puberty and men need sperm to be able to reproduce and be the father of a baby. For the girls, ovaries start to produce eggs and hormones, hips grow wider, body becomes curvier, development of breasts, and starts of menstrual cycles. Additional information for the girls, these hormones target the two ovaries, which contain eggs that have been in the girl's body since she was born. The hormones cause the ovaries to start making another hormone called estrogen. 
together, these hormones prepare a girl's body to start her period or menstrual cycle and be able to become pregnant someday. Next, for the common physical changes of both boy and girl. First, body starts to grow taller and gain weight. Hair begins to grow under the arms and in pubic areas. Next, start to sweat more. And then the last one, skin becomes oilier and pimples may start showing up. Just as those hormones change the way your body looks on the outside, they also create changes on the inside. During puberty, you might feel confused or have strong emotions that you've never had before. You might feel overly sensitive or become upset easily. On the mental side, we will experience mood swings. We might feel confused or have strong emotions that we have never had before. We also start to be self-conscious, often worrying about how others look at us. Some kids lose their tempers more often and get angry with their friends or families. Sometimes it can be hard to deal with all these new emotions. It's important to know that while your body is adjusting to the new hormones, so is your mind. Try to remember that people usually aren't trying to hurt your feelings or upset you on purpose. It might not be your family or friends. It might be your new puberty brain trying to adjust. So, all these new emotions can be overwhelming. When in doubt about anything regarding puberty, approach our parents or teachers is more appropriate than having our questions answered by peers who are also going through the same thing that we are. The next stage is adulthood, the period in the human lifespan in which full physical and intellectual maturity have been attained. Adulthood is the fourth stage. It covers the age of 19 to 60. There is minimal growth during adulthood. Both women and men experience a gradual loss of efficiency in bodily functions after the age of 40. Physically, early and middle adulthood are marked by slow, gradual declines in body functioning, which accelerate as old age is reached. There is a clear evidence that with increasing age, adults display a slow, very gradual tendency toward decreasing speed of response in the execution, both intellectual and physical tasks. Next, Old age, this is the last stage of human growth and development. During old age, there is a loss in weight. Most elderly people experience declines in hearing, vision, taste, and smell. These declines are typically gradual and become more pronounced in late old age, which is around 70 plus. Other health-related issues include rising blood pressure, declining lung capacity, and neural loss. It is important to note that declines in all these areas can be greatly influenced by one's lifestyle. That's why we need to take good care of our elders and always show your respects towards them because they are the parents of your parents and they love you. As a human being, it's just right that you care for your elders or your grandma or grandpa. After all, you are soon going to become as one. By caring for your elders, you show your own humanity and simply do what is right. Okay, that's all for today. See you in the next video.